Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to do a project in Lightning Web Component. We are going to create a JSON validator and uh, in a Salesforce Experience Cloud website. And then we, and we will also see the code for it. So let's start. Firstly, let me show you what uh, is a JSON validator. So this is how the final product will look like. Let me copy the JSON. Uh, this is a sample JSON. Let me copy it and let me paste it here and let me click on validate and it is showing me that the json is valid now let me put an invalid json let me like remove the comma or let me remove the inverted commas and it is saying me json is invalid and there is it is showing me some issue with it so this is known as a json validator a very common json validator is the json lint so if you go to json lint json lint and paste the json it does the same thing it tells you whether the json is valid or not and uh, if you are working with json in your in your integrations uh, this is a very helpful tool so uh, let's go back to my slides and let's see how we can uh, let's continue so starting with the basics what is json json is a javascript object notation and it is a standard text based format for representing structured data based on it is based on javascript object syntax so it is commonly used for transmitting data in web applications uh, like for example rest api rest api is the most common example where uh, json uh, data is used so uh, uh, what are the examples uh, sending some data from the server to the client and so that it can be displayed on the web page or vice versa the json format is syntactically identical to the code for creating javascript objects because of this similarity, a JavaScript program can easily convert JSON data into native JavaScript objects. So within JavaScript, we have the json.stringify and json.parse method. So these two methods make it very easy to handle JSON within the JavaScript. Uh, example JSON format. So an example JSON format is like this. We have the first name and we have a last name. This is called as a JSON object. Within the object, we have two keys. So, and JSON is basically a collection of uh, key value pairs. So this is the first object, this is the last object. So uh, first name is John, the last name is Doi. So this is a valid JSON format. And what does a JSON validator do? A JSON validator is a tool that checks if a JSON document is valid or not, meaning that it adheres to the syntax and structure rules specified by the JSON format. So let, now let us go and deep dive into the code now. Um, so let me start with the uh, HTML. So we have a lightning card here and within the lightning card we have a div. Uh, within the div we tend editable equals to true. This means that whatever content you add within the div, it will be editable. Um, and uh, it's it kind of behaves like an input box. So this is the standard HTML5 property. Then we have a uh, lightning button and uh, with the label as validate and on click of it, it uh, uh, calls the handle click method. So these two stuff we have here. And if I go to the JavaScript, so within the JavaScript, we have this handle click method and we are querying the div from the H, uh, HTML. Then uh, we are uh, fetching the inner text within that and we are parsing that inner text. So uh, within JavaScript, we have a function json.parse and if it uh, the parsing is successful, this uh, will succeed. Otherwise, it will throw an error. So if it throws an error, we are populating the error message and then we are throwing the showing the error toast. So let's say if it is an invalid JSON, that step will be taken care of care by json.parse method then if that is successful then what we are doing so we are populating the inner html uh, of the div that content editable div with this attribute so we are uh, stringifying the parsed value and we are appending a slash t uh, within the at, with the pairs we are appending the slash t within the key and the value pairs and then we are adding this uh, pre tag the pre tag is used to show pre formatted data 
so what uh, like this slash t uh, won't be considered as a text but it will be shown with the spaces these value will, will be shown as uh, with the spaces so this will help you in beautifying the json then uh, we are just uh, putting showing the success message that the json is valid uh, so that's all uh, this is the code for creating the json validator and uh, and we have to put since this is a community so we have to add these two targets that is the lightning community and uh, default and lightning community page now uh, how to create uh, this website so um, within the salesforce setup firstly you have to enable the digital experience after you have enabled it go to all sites click on new Okay, and once you click on new, it will show you all the templates that it has uh, and you will have an option to choose a template. So the latest template that is uh, provided by Salesforce is build your own LWR. So this is based on modern web standards and uh, it uses the lightning web runtime. So I've used this template and created my website, this website, which I was showing you. And then you can input it, uh, you can uh, like publish the website and you can uh, share it with your friends so that they can play around with it. So that's all for today's video and I'll create a specific playlist where I'll add all the LWC projects which I have done, videos where I've done the LWC projects. So thanks everyone for watching and do subscribe to my channel for more such videos in the future. Thanks everyone.